in the past, he played Peter Kennedy on the hit CBC show North of 60. He's made appearances on Star Trek, Law & Order, and a whole lot more. He's also released numerous albums. He's founded and has performed at the yearly Huron Carol for many years. Singer, songwriter, actor, humanitarian, Mr. Tom Jackson on the line. How are you, sir? I'm very good, Jeremy. How are you doing? I'm great. Thank you for calling in. You know, I became aware of your music back in the the early days of North of 60. It's, uh, it was used on the show during coffee shop scenes, uh, few and far between, no regrets. Uh, was music an interest long before your acting days? It was. Uh, I was a musician uh, for many years before I was mistakenly cast uh, as an actor in a theater piece. <laughs> but uh, I'm glad that that happened because I wouldn't... Uh, I wouldn't have been in everybody's living room as often, as frequent as I was, and, and the happy experience that is is uh, something that will go down in history for me. We had your old friend Dakota House on the show a couple of months back, and, he, you know, he says even after a few years later, he still misses going to work with all you great people every day. Yeah, I had share that thought. I lived close enough to the set, and I should actually go out there, but last year the flood uh, apparently took the set out, so one can't actually exercise that option anymore except in one's memory but i guess we all do that yeah uh let's talk about your new single released last week i love that single by the way tom it's called i'm not saying i'm just saying uh, tell us about that song well the song is part of a overall project called ballads not bullets uh that is uh being optioned as a license agreement under universal music and I was approached by uh, the company to write a project that was framed around wellness, and one of the one of the subject matters was um, finding peace, finding a way to talk about peace, finding a way to exercise peace uh, in whatever form that meant, and that mean to me meant not just peace on the battlefield uh, overseas, but also on the streets here talking about the fact that there is somewhere i believe that there's a child of peace out there that will uh, lead us down a road that will be paved with compassion and with love uh, and i and i think that it's worthy of making this statement strong enough that you can say it to your children so you can say it to your brothers and your sisters and your family and to all the people that you love so that at the end of the day that they carry with them in their hearts a new definition of what I think love is. And that's the foundation piece for me. You know, I, I like this song because it came out at a perfect time that I think, uh, you know, Remembrance Day on the way, the events in Ottawa that happened today. Uh, sir, your, your uh, recollection on the, the events in Ottawa today, how are you feeling? I'm pissed. Yeah. I can tell you right now, and I don't think I'm alone. Yeah. I am I am really, really mad. Yeah. I just think that we have to, you know, consider the fact that if we don't use our voice now, it won't resonate in this country or any other. And we're talking about something that all of a sudden became very imminent, became very real, landed in our backyard, and we can and should be setting a different mindset to not only our families and our friends, but showing that by discipline. And what, I, what do I mean by discipline? I mean courage. Discipline and courage to stand up and be known, be heard, and let others know that you believe in this movement of peace and let me tell you if you went to and I'm, i'll share something with you if you go to balladsnotbullets.com if your listeners go to balladsnotbullets.com you can actually make the statement you can post your face on a wall you can give me a peace sign and you can make a statement and you can get uh i'm not saying i'm just saying because that's what i'm saying i'm, I'm not saying yeah. i'm just saying we could put an end to war. Uh, Tom uh, Jackson on the line this afternoon. His new single called uh, I'm Not Saying, I'm Just Saying. I love that song. Uh, let's talk about the Huron Carol coming up in December. Uh, we got uh, some uh, new folks that are going to be taking the stage with you this year. Donna Merrow actually confirmed to, uh, to tour with you this December, right? He is. 
uh, he's enjoying the cast of uh, Beverly Mahood, Shannon Gay, One More Girl, and yours truly. Uh, and this year's show is in part a musical. So one half of the show, the first half of the show is a one-act musical. Uh, and it describes how the first Huron Carroll concert came about. Oh, right on. Uh, in an effort to help uh, an organization called Council Fire in downtown Toronto to raise money to buy hampers of food. It's a wonderful, wonderful Christmas story. And all the cast members are wonderful actors. Uh, you don't always have singers who act or actors who sing, but in the case of this cast, they all have careers as actors and they all have careers as singers. So we're very blessed to have them uh, as part of this inaugural uh, world premiere of a new musical called Huron Carroll. And the back half of the show, uh, and I'm not giving, I'm not talking out of school here, I'm not giving the plot away, the back half of the show is in fact a concert. All right, on. Well, it's, it's going to sound, it sounds awesome, definitely. 27 plus years here on Carol has been running. Are you amazed that it's, it's ran that long? I'm not surprised that it's run that long because the need has always been there. Yep. And unfortunately, the need is still, I mean, over the course of those 27 years, we've, we're, we're edging on uh, $250 million in cash and food services for Canadian food banks throughout the history of the Huron Carroll. That's the good news. We've been able to be very successful at what we do in terms of bringing the awareness and raising funds and getting food and mobilizing. The bad news is I still have a job. Yeah. I still have a job. There's still a large gap, and it's widening every year between haves and have-nots. And that's not a statement on haves or have-nots. I'm just telling you that in our society, there are certain circumstances that... Uh, cause the gap, but there is there is a gap, and we have to, and particularly as we come around to Christmas, we have to be very conscious of those who are behind us, because we didn't get where we got to without somebody helping us. Yeah, definitely. So it's very important to turn around and look behind and make sure that there's somebody, that, that if there's somebody there that needs help, that you're there to help them. Uh, here on Carroll, making a stop in Edmonton December 6th at the Jube. Uh, when do tickets go on sale for that, Tom? They are on sale now. Okay, cool. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, Tom Jackson, always a pleasure having you on the show, and we look forward to seeing you in December at, in uh, Jubilee. Likewise, Jeremy. It's been an absolute honor. I'm so pleased. I'm so happy that you're in support of what it is we do, and, and uh, you know, bless your soul for that. Thank you, sir.